Hello YouTube, this is Firebrand Chris again, and I am going to be loading up some 762 by 25 Tokarev, which I'm going to use at the range tomorrow. Uh, this video is probably not going to be long, and I really do apologize if you start seeing weird angles and, um, you know, the video quality probably isn't going to be that good. Uh, I have very little, very little available space so just just bear with me now for the purpose of this video I gotta load up this whole bag but I'm not gonna load up the whole bag on the video I'll probably just show you 10 maybe 15 um, just to let you guys know if you didn't know the 9 millimeter Luger and the 9 millimeter Makarov case holder does work for 7.62 by 25 Tokarev. Got it written on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a reminder for me. Uh, let's go ahead and put at least 10 in this case, the, this uh, container. in there uh, what I'm gonna do which I did indeed learn this from gunnut 357 and it's, it works pretty efficient way of uh, lubricating your cases I put this top on here and I cut a small hole onto the side I know if you can see it just gonna spray. Oops. Some in there. I'm just gonna shake this up. Now that should be ready. I'm gonna let them sit for a little bit, and that will take us to the next stage in this process all right doing this stage we're going to be this is usually the sizing slash depriming well this is fresh brass so there's no need no need to deprime so we're just going to be sizing the brass i'm going to try to do this one-handed so bear with me uh, let's see Stick the brass in there. Let's see if we can get a good view. Dropping stuff all over the place. All right, we're at the priming stage. Um, now, you may have noticed that the brass has somewhat multiplied. Um, yeah, I was sizing some brass 
before I even started making the video. So I'm just gonna go on, go on ahead and uh, prime this brass with the tin I just sized. Um, I'm using an RCBS hand priming tool with the primer CCI 500 primer strips. Uh, now I'm a big fan of CCI, so uh, if you see any additional videos of me loading something, it's probably going to be with CCI or either I've used uh, CCI primer strips, used different uh, uh, primers and just put them in the CCI priming strips. <clears throat> Relatively simple process. Um, I know there's a lot of you guys on YouTube that have either done this or seen someone do it before. So I'm not trying to dumb you guys down, but I do have a lot of friends that have never seen this before or don't even know what this is. Uh, so we'll just start. You see where you primed. Just that easy. Let's give it a nice squeeze. All right, at this stage, we are actually, before I start jabbering my blabber box about, you know, other stuff, I got a pretty good setup, you know, with my, my iPod, you know, that way I won't have to hold it. Um, at this stage, we are going to flare the case mouth. Just a simple lead die. Lee's inexpensive. And uh, I'm really a big fan of Hornady dies. Actually, a mixture of Hornady, Redding, and Lee. So I tend to mismatch my die die sets. Usually, I'll have a Redding sizer, maybe a, a Hornady cedar if there isn't a Redding cedar available. And then I'm a big fan of Lee crimp dies, so you'll see me using those in uh, several videos I'll probably end up making. And that's in there. This has already been calibrated from prior. And good thing about um actually show you um, these lead die holders, you won't have to uh set the you know the flare or the the seating depth every time you just stick the die in. Die set in there, and like bam, like emerald. Um okay. You gotta flare the, the case mouth. You don't need too much, just enough to where you can seat the bullet uh, relatively easy. Let's see, I always like to double check by taking a bullet, sticking it on, sticking it on there, and uh, it fits on there pretty easily. So. Do another one. Loading the powder. Let's see if you guys can get a good look at it. All right. See that I believe that is the load that we need. Uh, 
9.2 grains of uh, accurate it's number seven. Yep, that's it. We just hit the dispense button. Just take the powder pan. I'm actually going to get a Denford powder pan. I don't really like this one. Just dump that in there. Not particularly a big fan of, of Lee cedar dyes, but that's all that's available in this uh, this caliber uh, for 7.62x25. Now, I did contact Hornady about making a custom cedar die, and they told me that eventually they would uh, make a die set for 762 by 25 Let me see, sit there, sit there on top of there. Make sure it, it's at least facing up straight. That way the bullet doesn't go in there crooked. We want to push. Hornady 86 grain round nose. Let's actually check the overall length. Let's see. It's good. It's within uh safe ranges. I think minimal overall length for this this bullet selection is 1.3 sixteenths of an inch. So we'll do the remaining four. Yeah, <laughs> silly me. Can't see the bullet if I don't have one on there. Stick a bullet on top. Now most of the time, I do not do seeding and crimping at the same time actually save crimping as a different operation. Make sure that's on there. Check the overall length on this. That's within range. All right, now we're gonna move to the to the the crimping operation. And remove that. Install the crimping die. Nice, pretty good crimp on here. I don't know if you guys can see it well. It's got a nice snug crimp. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen.